site-to-site -site, uh, network consists of at least two networks connected via a virtual private network. In this video, we're looking at the steps that we need to take to set up a site-to-site -site, uh, connection using an access server and OpenVPN client. As you can see on this slide, we have a headquarter with the private subnet and a private IP address for our access server. And we have a branch office, again, with the private subnet and a public IP address for the Linux machine that we're going to use as an OpenVPN client, which is going to act as a gateway. Now, in our case, we're going to use an Ubuntu machine, but you can use a compatible router, or you can use a Windows machine to uh, set up a client or OpenVPN client acting as a gateway. Uh, in order to do that, we need to take multiple steps. The first step is enable uh, enabling routing in our access server, and then we're going to create a user with auto login for OpenVPN client gateway, and then we're going to configure our OpenVPN gateway client, which again, in our case, is Ubuntu. We're going to set up that uh, the client uh, connects automatically with the user account that we're going to create. As you can see, I'm logged into the admin UI. The first step we're going to do, it's going to go ahead, click on configuration, expand it, and go to VPN settings. This is where we're going to enable routing. Um, let me uh, put our information on the side window so you can see the headquarters subnet is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. So when it comes to routing, should VPN clients have access to private subnet, we're going to click Yes, using routing, and we're going to type the sub subnet for our uh, headquarter. Again, 192.168.0.0-16. And then we want to make sure the allow access from these private subnets to all VPN clients is enabled and click, uh, and it's a yes, basically. So once we're happy with all the settings, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Settings, and then update running server. So at this part, we're done. We have our uh, private subnet specified. Then we go to user management and click on user permissions. This is where we're going to create a user with the auto login for our client. So I'm just going to call it um, client gateway, for example, or dash gateway. And then um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, enable the auto login. Uh, so I'm going to allow auto login. And then click on more settings or uh, that pencil to edit. And I scroll down where you can see it says VPN gateway. This is where we want to allow uh, the VPN gateway and configure that. So basically, we're going to allow the client to act as a gateway. And then we're going to get the subnet of our branch and type it here, which is 10.17.0.0 slash 16. This is the only thing we need to do here. And then we're going to click on Save Settings to create this user in our access server, an update running server. Now, one last thing I'm going to do here before I move to my Ubuntu machine in the uh, branch office, I need to download the profile for the user we just created. So I'm going to go to user profile and then uh, client gateway, that's the one, and click on new profile. I'm going to make sure the auto login is selected and then download the profile. So. Uh, profile-28 is downloaded. Keep this in mind. We're going to come back to this in a couple of minutes. Now, we're going to head out to our Ubuntu machine. So uh, we're going to SSH to my Ubuntu machine, which is in our branch office. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to install the uh, OpenVPN client app. So let me go ahead, uh, type the command here, and hit Enter. So. This is going to take a second, and the OpenVPN client app is installed. Now, let's go to that directory here. Um, let me type cd slash etc OpenVPN. Here we go. Um, we need to uh, create a config file here. Um, I'm going to open up the profile we downloaded a few minutes ago, and I'm going to copy everything from this profile here. Let go. Uh, I'm going to copy everything. And then I'm going to go back to my Ubuntu. I'm going to use a text editor such as Nano. And then I'm going to type Nano and give a name to the file that I want to create. And I'm just going to call it hq.conf. And hit Enter. And um, here we go. And then I'm going to paste um, 
the uh, file, the con config file or the profile that I just copied in this uh, text file. Let me close this and then we're going to save this. Uh, let me exit and save. Yes. And yes, here we go. So we created the uh, config file. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, hq.config. One more thing you need, we need to do here is enabling IP forwarding. So let me go uh, to, oops, I went too far. I need to be in uh, this directory here. And the uh, file that I'm looking at is this file, uh, sysctl.conf. Uh, we need to edit uh, one line in this file. So uh, enabling IP forwarding basically it tells the operating system to accept an incoming packet on one network interface or an egg, and then if the destination is on another network, to forward it there. So on Ubuntu, the machine that we're working on, this file, we're going to use a text editor such as a Nano, and then on commenting a line, which I'm going to show you in a second, um, basically we're going to remove the hashtag character. So the line I'm looking for, here it is, um, here we go. This is the line. So I'm going to remove the hashtag character, and then I'm going to go ahead and save uh, the file. Here we go. Save yes and yes. So this is what we need to do on Access Server and on our Ubuntu to start acting as a client. Now all we have to do is just reboot this machine. So I'm going to reboot this, and then we'll come back once the machine is back online. Our Ubuntu is back online. Let me go ahead and connect to it. Or connected. So if we set up everything correctly, um, our client gateway should have connected automatically to our OpenVPN access server. I'm going to go ahead and log back into the admin UI since we got timed out. Here we go. On the status page, uh, there is one active user. Uh, let's go to current user on the left side and client gateway is connected. So our site to site is up and running. And let's go test this. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to br uh, bring up the uh, SSH session again. This is my Ubuntu machine in branch office. Our access server is in our um, headquarter office. Um, I'm going to go to configuration and uh, uh, VPN. No, I'm sorry. We're going to go to network settings. And as you can see here, the private IP address of the access server is that 192.168.2.172. So if everything is set up correctly, I should be able to ping this IP address in my headquarter from my branch office. And here we go. We get a reply back. So our site to site is up and running. So let's head back to this slide. Uh, we went through the steps of uh, creating a site to site network between our headquarter and branch office uh, with uh, enabling routing in our um, access server, and then also uh, configuring our OpenVPN client to act as a gateway, in our case was a Linux machine or Ubuntu machine. We also created a user with auto login so we could use that with our OpenVPN client gateway. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.